plan and eventually I'll have it into a full video with the full workup and instructions. So I got this as a gift, a HackRF one. Now, if you get a official HackRF, it's about $399, possibly more, maybe a little less, uh, but around there usually. Now, if you get a clone, you got to be careful about that, though. You got to keep looking into uh, reports and revisions, read reviews if you do this. Um, I ended up getting an R9 because during the chip shortage, as they called it, during uh, the whole events of the last couple of years uh, with the supply chain, uh, we saw you know problems accessing and getting the chips that were needed to make hardware. So what happened is HackRF, Great Scott Gadgets, who invented and creates the HackRF, uh, they had to substitute certain chips. And what that meant was an entire different revision with slightly different chips. Um, and that also caused compatibility issues. So if you have an R9, the revision 9, and you'll know it's an R9 because it says R9 right here. And it's upside down, but you get the idea. So if I turn it around a little bit, you'll see an R9 right there. And that R9 means revision 9. Um, and it's basically a different model, slightly different. Um, and what that means is, is that firmware may not work in the same way you expect. Uh, so what I had to do, and I did a video on that today uh, at the same day of this video recording, is I had to update the lib hack RF, and I show instructions on how to do that. I'll also write it up so people can follow a copy and paste option. Um, and so... I got this porta pack as well. Now, what I want is sound, of course. So, if you're going to be listening to tunes or shortwave, you know, ham radio stuff, uh, you're going to need to be able to hear it. And what do we do to hear it? Well, there's a headphone jack, but I found my headphone jack wasn't working. So, what did I do? Uh, well, there's actually two wires that came with this, and see that wiring right here? These two very short wires are actually attached to another set of wires. So what I did was I actually had a broken laptop from a while ago that I didn't need the parts for and I basically saved it for parts anyway. So I took the speaker out and what I did was I actually to test this I had to first you know twist these wires together and then once I had them nice and twisted fastened together what I did was I actually used this here uh, these pliers here, the needle nose pliers, in order to really tighten that, um, you know, tight so that way they wouldn't come undone. Um, I tested it first, of course, and I do have sound, which is awesome. I wish I could show you that now, but I have to uh, attach it back together, and uh, I don't know if I can do all that with one hand since I'm holding the camera today. Um, so, I will do more on video to show with you guys. So my plan anyway is to use this and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break down the frame of this speaker and try and just save this piece right here with the wiring so that way and I may even shorten this wire otherwise I may wind it up or you know wrap it in a way that I can tuck inside everything inside between these because this one fits over here and because it fits over I want to get the speaker somewhere you know out of the way but where I can hear it uh, so that's the plan this is the other speaker that was with that laptop so it actually came this speaker and this speaker came attached to the same clip so this is what goes in the laptop and as you'll note I actually tore the wiring out for the other speaker so as you can see the other two wires are torn on the side uh, and I did that so I could just use this single speaker because it came with two speakers on the laptop but I don't need both um, and so what I did was I just simply uh, yanked these wires out of that clip there and then what I did was I twisted it into the attachment so I'm going to do a little close up on that so as you can see, and by the way, this porta pack I got as a gift, but I can tell you the source of it. It's actually made by Ham Geeks. So make sure if you get a porta pack, this is one of the ones that's known as supported by Ham Geeks. And uh, I'm not sure what they paid for it, but I'm sure it wasn't too too much. Uh, the Hack RF is usually the the higher priced item.
So it's very kind of them to get me this because I've wanted one for over five years. So I'm super pumped to have one of these. There's so many neat things you can do and especially with the Mayhem firmware, uh, it's really gonna open some doors, so to speak. No pun intended. Uh, so we're gonna check it out. We're gonna do more with this. I'm gonna break down this and I'm gonna do a uh, tutorial so I'll have content created on how you can create your own little speaker for your Hack RF. Uh, let's talk more about how we're gonna create this speaker. So what we did was we have two wires attached directly in here, this clip in the porta pack. So you can see that a little closer. And anyhow, these two wires, there's a red positive and a black negative. And what I did was I actually took an old uh, laptop speaker and I ended up twisting the wires here, as you can see. And after that, after testing the initial tests and seeing the speaker working uh, from the laptop, uh, what I did was I then soldered it together and then also did a base wrap of tape. Now I'm also going to do a little better. I might get some shrink tubing to really clean it up a bit, uh, but it works for its purpose. So what I'm doing next is I want to shrink down this computer laptop speaker. I want to make it so I can attach it either to the side or the inside in between the HackRF and the porta pack right in the side of the battery area. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually trying to open this without breaking the wire. So my tip to you today on that is what I did was I took two hands and obviously I'm holding a camera with one so I can't show you now, but I basically twisted this until it snapped open and I was able to then safely observe where the wires are. As you can see, they're right in the middle. See, the thing was, I wasn't sure if they were aligned on the side, so since I'm also using an X-Acto knife, I really didn't wanna to have to repair the wire if it broke, so I'm trying to be very careful. So the best way to go about this is to twist this computer speaker and then that cracked it open for me and now I will gently use an X-Acto knife to cut everywhere around the wire so that I can actually shrink this down to something like this size and that's what I'm going for. So that's what I'm doing here today and uh, I will be continuing to document the process for everyone. Uh, so if you want to save some money, not have to buy a speaker for your porta pack well, you might be able to take an old piece of hardware, just like I did, and we're going to continue until we finish the process. And make sure to like, share, leave a comment. We have our Mayhem firmware, and now we also have a nice little speaker. And it's actually tucked right inside here. What's neat about this particular speaker is it actually has a magnet in it. And so it actually was an unintended benefit that I found in this particular laptop speaker. And so we have a speaker that actually sits nicely in between our porta pack and our Hack RF. So, what I can do, and I'm actually visiting a uh, family at the moment, so uh, I'm not sure what frequencies we're going to be able to listen to, but I am going to do a quick demo. Uh, and of course, I'll be doing more demos and showing how this device works a bit more. But one thing I want to point out, since this video is about speakers, is you will need to turn on the sound, which is this icon right here, second one over, and when you turn it green, that will activate both the speaker and the headphone jack. So you're going to also have a nice little headphone jack right here. And you can plug in any, you know, auxiliary headphones that you might have. But one thing I want to let you know about is, and this is something I've seen others post about. They say their speaker's not working, their headphone's not working. Um, but what you need to do is... After you turn it on, it's not going to work yet. You need to turn it off after activating the speaker. After you do that, turn it off with two presses here. Then, making sure you turned on the speaker before you turned it off. That way, when it starts up, it's ready to use that speaker. And so, there's a lot of really neat features on this device, especially with the porta pack Really makes it a joy to have, I will say. And, you know, it's always interesting, you know, when you see constant flights, you might want to know what are those airplanes doing. And the good thing is that if you live in the U.S. at least, 
you can actually receive legally. You need to keep this all in mind and you need to look into your local laws and regulations to make sure the same is true in your area. So you're allowed to listen to things being broadcast over the spectrum, but be very, very careful with any of the transmit features. You do not want to get in trouble, so make sure to look into your local regulations, make sure to only do tests on your own devices, and you know, just be real cautious because not every law is going to be the same around the world. Uh, so with that little disclaimer out of the way, you should be good in the US and most places to receive. So you have a lot of options for receiving. We're not going to cover all those today. Today I basically am doing this just for the speaker video so we can go ahead and take a look. And as you can see, uh, you can actually see the actual signals and I can turn the volume over here on the very right and then once I get on the volume as you can tell it's not really something we're listening to uh, let's try something I don't know let's try a number here I think they have this in this area Anyhow, you can hear the speaker, and uh, I will do more videos on this, so you can tell it does work. Now, another neat thing, and I'm going to do a dedicated video on this. If you go all the way back to the original menu, you have something called Looking Glass. And Looking Glass is really cool. I might do a dedicated video on this. What this allows you to see is all the signals, and you can actually go to each of them, and I'll talk more about that in a video. We're just going to do something pretty basic today. Uh, so you could go down here and you can actually move that dial down and then you can go and you can listen in. So we can go turn this down a bit and see the red lines there, which may or may not be someone talking. See if we can find one that actually works in this area. Since I'm not from this area, I'm not really sure. Uh, but let's see, can we find something that'll work? Let's try this. So you may need to play around a bit and switch this over as well um, to tune into something. And not everything is going to be talking. There's going to be all different types of signals out there. I am also in a basement, so I'm not in the best place for reception. So we're just kind of playing it. You know, this is not rehearsed. But we will see if we can pick up anything. See if this works. Now you can hear it a little bit, but like I said, I'm not in the right location to really be listening to anything. But you can hear some voice. So if you get on a higher floor, you know, I would have been able to hear this a lot better. Anyways, I just want to show that it works for the moment. And so you can see that you can take a laptop speaker and you can actually create your own speaker for the Porta Pack and the Hack RF. Really awesome device. This is one of my favorite devices right now. I'm super excited about it and I'm really looking forward to doing more videos with you guys on it. Uh, but yeah, basically what I did was it comes with the Porta Pack itself comes with a small clip here as you can note right there put a little focus on it and it just has a red and a black wire and so what you do is you tear out an old laptop speaker you connect the red to red of course the black to black and that way you also don't mix them up uh, and so you'll have that and you'll have this nice little finished product here 
with a speaker and if you get lucky a magnetic one that will stick to it for you so you don't even have to use double-sided tape that was another thing i considered maybe i should use double-sided tape and um, if i do use double-sided tape of course i could put it on the back and a lot of people do that but i thought hey if it fits in the middle and i'm getting ready to get a new case for this so i should have it a lot more you know together when i get that it also won't look like such a strange device to be walking around with because i do like to use this as just a regular radio it's it's a neat device and you can listen to you know music on fm you can listen to so many different things and you can change out the antenna to anything you know that interests you there's also a variety of different features so this is all in the front menu here there's also various features in the transmit there's so many different options with the mayhem firmware so i try to share some of the things i'm working on with my own devices and i really hope this helps you so you know make sure to like this video share it on social media sharing on social media really helps the channel out and it also helps the algorithm so when you share a video of mine it also shows the algorithm that it is a reliable source of information and that helps to propagate it up towards the top more and it really helps the channel out so guys make sure if you have a question leave one in a comment it really helps the channel out with the algorithm and if you want you can also email me over at right to privacy at i2pmail.org or write to privacy at tutemoda.com and check out the blog at bmc.link slash politictech and also now on i2p at right to privacy.i2p and i will be back with a video soon talking more about the hack rf how to protect your privacy security open source and linux Oh, it's supposed to feel